This video is dedicated to Mrs. Black, who believes that I'm not only an ignorant young man, but I'm making African Americans look bad, as if they need my help to do that. So I, I, you know what? She thinks I'm a statistic. I don't want to be a statistic, honey. I'm sorry, okay? So from now on, to please this random stranger in my comments, I will have no more African Americans in any of my videos, okay? You stupid bitch. What's up Degenerates, welcome back to another terrible video. Speaking of statistics, did you know that 100% of the people not subscribed to the K-word have AIDS? Now I'm not saying that not being subscribed to this channel means you'll get AIDS, but you know, I'd want to avoid having AIDS. That's all I'm saying, bro. No, but for real, you're gonna wanna be subscribed because this year we're going bangers and bangers and bangers. We're getting radical and <laughs> Yes, sir, okay. Covid forbid, you know, hopefully that doesn't change anything. But yeah, to kick off the new year, I'm back with another fraternity court video. Now, I wouldn't really do this because I feel like I had everything I wanted to say in the last one, but it's just doing crazy numbers. Meanwhile, the stuff that I actually enjoy doing barely breaks 100 views. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Now, back to Mrs. Black. You don't want me to embarrass the African Americans anymore. So let me just show you what the average white episode of Paternity Court is like. Please be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of white versus white. Thank you, Jerome. Good day, everyone. This is the first one that I clicked on with white people in them and, and they're, both their names are white. Then their, their surname just happens to be white on white. Mr. White, you claim to have physical proof your wife broke her vows and as much as you love Savannah, you do not believe you're her biological father and are prepared to divorce your wife when the test proves your case. Is that correct? Yes, Your Honor. All right, so really, Mr. White, a divorce? Yes, ma'am. Explain. Why are you questioning that, Lauren? Lake, backup singer extraordinaire. What, is that such a giant jump? Like, oh, my child isn't mine. But I won't divorce you, okay? I'm, I'm gonna stay in this relationship where you've given birth to a baby that ain't mine. Why are you... T She's so surprised, like, that's not normal. She should, he, she thinks he should stay in this. I don't. And you love this little girl. Yes, I love her to death. Three years. Three years. And so she looks to you, you're her father, you're her daddy. Yep, just the other day she was at my mother's and she woke up and she asked, where daddy? And I can see this is just tearing you apart. It is. It's just eating away at you. I can see that. Don't care, don't care. Is that Nick, that Nick's crying. He loves that little baby. See, this ain't funny. This is just sad. Why are people are just sad, you know? I'm hearing the words coming out of my mouth and it's not, it, it's coming across in a way that I don't mean it to, but <laughs> I ain't saying that white people, I don't know. See, the, it, see, I'm not making fun of the white people. I'm just saying that the African American guy in these typical episodes, he wouldn't be crying. That nigga would be hollering like, that baby ain't mine, I don't give a damn. Did that, that, that bitch the whole, she did some other ish, bro. I, 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 don't, I ain't claiming none of these children. Now that I think about what I just said, Mrs. Black is probably right. I am making African Americans look bad. <laughs> it, it, it's been rough and emotional because when it first all come about to where I had the suspicions, it was, she was having an ex-boyfriend come over while I was at work. I still had don't care. Tell me he was coming over, and then I started doing the snooping on Facebook, seeing where his location was, looking through her phone, <sighs> and then we got into an argument one night. This one looks spicy. I'm not even gonna lie. Maybe, maybe this one will be a good one. Maybe this one will make the white people look bad instead of the African Americans, because I guess that's what you want. I dare you comment again, Miss Black. All my homies hate Miss Black. Spam what we hate Miss Black in the comments. You may be seated. Hello, Your Honor. Hello. This is a case of Threlkeld versus Threlkeld. Thank you. You're welcome. Good day, everyone. Good day, Your Honor. Mr. Threlkeld, you yeah. have entered this courtroom with a marriage on the brink of divorce. You state that while you were out of the country serving in the military, your wife paraded around town with other men. Oh, wait, 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 hold up. 20? 
20? She and my type of timing, demon time. I like that out of her. I like that out of her. 20 niggas. <laughs> That's a bit low, to be honest. See, I thought if I was a military wife, <laughs> I'd be on hunted easy. And she has admitted to cheating multiple times. You claim you are not sure if you are the father of her third child, 18-month-old Liliana. I wouldn't want to be the dad either, man. I'm sorry, but... <laughs> Wait, that's, that's so bad. I'm sorry. And have asked the court for a paternity test. Yes, ma'am. Mrs. Threlkeld, you yes. say you began exotic dancing to make extra money. Oh, God. She got money? Really? All of them, man, damn terrible. Down bad, man. Now, Mr. Threlkeld, when yeah. did you first discover uh, that your wife had been unfaithful? Actually, ma'am, um, I was overseas in Afghanistan, and I was at, uh, up in the Northeast, and a soldier of mine came up to me and tapped me on the boot and said, hey, I need to go outside. We need to talk right now. His wife and my wife were friends, and she had found out that she was actually stripping as we spoke. So I went, you know, calmly to the, uh, the internet lounge, got on Facebook and asked her, hey, you know, is, is it true you're doing what I told you I didn't want you doing at all? And she didn't really say anything, honestly. And um, right after I left there, our base actually got attacked. And <coughs> Oh, it's not funny, man, but <laughs> what type of luck? You find out your wife's a stripper, and then the enemy forces pull up to, to kill you guys. It's almost like you shouldn't be there. It's almost like you have no reason to have been in Afghanistan and you should take your white ass out of this, their, their country, almost. And while I was at Bagram, I finally was able to get back online and I get on Facebook and there's this, some clown on there saying, you know, lo, you know liking all her skimpy photos. Um, 20. I'm speaking directly to the 20 men who, who, um, you know. You're down terrible! Stop, man. You should never be this horny. Seek help next time. Your friend's husband told me that she was doing what she's doing because she didn't have the decency to say, hey, I'm doing what I so, want to do. Ms. Threlkeld, I'm... What? Your husband's overseas, serving his country, yeah. serving our country. Keeping us all safe. He shouldn't be there in the first place, but that's a that's a conversation for another video that I'm never gonna make. First of all, we were done. We were not together. We had a phone conversation, and he had said we're gonna get a divorce, and I'll send you the divorce papers. And then no. we hung up. And let me finish. Uh, what what let had happened was, finish. when I was at Fenty, we got in a phone argument, like he said, on Skype. I like, and, uh, I like that out of him. Don't let that girl talk. I like that. Just overpower the conversation, bro. That's my type of thing. You are my type of timing. I like that. This is what I'm trying to understand. Ms. Throckel, you say you guys were done. Yeah. So, in other yeah. words, these things that he's finding on your Facebook and these indiscretions you're telling him about, this really shouldn't be an issue because, in your mind, you guys, you thought your marriage was messed up as it may yes. be. Yes. Because you all had an argument about you stripping and you yes. hung up. Yes, yes, Your Honor. We hung up and we wow. said it was done. <laughs> Let's not, I mean, there's not, okay, shout out Judge Lauren and everyone else in the, the crowd. That's not crazy, okay? They, they both agreed that they were done. She can do whatever she wants. Some, it's free cast stuff, but I mean, it's what she wants to do. It's not to treat her crazy. She knows what she's done already. I, I really want to know always calling me. Well, why I you mean... chose stripping. I mean, because you could have just said, I want to go get an extra job at the mall. Okay. I want to be I had in Ma'am, since, oh, since we've been together, to since 2008, she hasn't started working until actually about three weeks ago. It's that her is actually first job, time job. Hooking or stripping? It's not hooking. You're selling your body for money, hooker. No, it's not. Anyways. Excuse me. Uh, wow. Anyways. Why are you clapping to this? Why is this clap heavy? What? Bro. They sent her in here to fail. It's not hooking. It's stripping. It's two different things. Now, do strippers most likely also work as prostitutes? 
Possibly. I'm sure um, in the strip club she was working in, definitely. But I don't think the star tenders in Starlets are just letting any nigga hit. So, you know, just, just let's just be respectful, okay? She has her phone, and, um, you know, I was wondering who, because I saw the guy, she hadn't fully admitted that she's been seeing this guy. So I snatched the phone from her, and I started going through it. And as I was looking through it, there was a number that she'd called, like, 13 times. So I called him right back. Mm -hmm. And he answers the phone, hey, you know, I said, who is this? Are you the one that's been with my wife? He said, yes, yes, I've been. And, and now her defense, she starts laughing, saying, ha, I knew he was just going to say that. He's just saying that to, to make you mad. And it was ridiculous. I mean, he texts her and says, you know, I guess I, f I figured now who you picked. And so she starts crying. And I said, Excuse why are you me, crying? We already done and she's like, she's like, well, why that would he was my boyfriend. What I do? Why do you care? Why would you have matter. a boyfriend if you're married? Paper or no we paper? We weren't. We were done. You had papers? Make up your mind, bro. Are you divorced? Are you not? Why do you care? She's a stripper. You don't want her, obviously. You keep calling her a hooker. What are you pressed about? I'd be pressed too <laughs> if, if my my, um, my soon-to-be ex-wife slept with 20, 20 guys without me knowing. But I mean, it is what it is, you know. You was over there popping Afghani heads. She was back home popping up. <laughs> it's not funny, man. Oh my gosh. There is a part of me that listens to you both talk and sees that one, if not both of you, maybe still wants to make this work. Are you two interested in trying to see if you could save this marriage? She's always on this BS, okay? Why do you want to keep these toxic people together all the time, Lauren Lake? Every single time at the end of all of these stupid episodes. Oh, I feel like the both of you are still in love. Do you want to give another chance? No! He's a jarhead. She's a hooker. She's not a hooker. She's a stripper. They do not need to be together. Call it quits. Please. In the case of Threlkeld versus Threlkeld, Pertaining to one-year-old Liliana. <sighs> Mr. Threkel, you are Liliana's father. Wait, how does that make sense, actually, now that I'm thinking about it? How long was he in Afghanistan for, then? Wait, when was the bit? I'm missing something here. There's no way this is real, okay? All these people are just insane, man. <sighs> I'm going back to the black people, man. I'm gonna call this a, a wrap, you know. Hey, wrap it up then. Anyway, that's about it, you know. Um, I'm gonna end it there. Uh, if you wanna see more of these, like, please. Actually, I'd rather not make more of these. If you've got anything else you want me to watch, so, you know, comment down below. Don't tell me I'm ignorant or statistic though, because you're gonna break my little heart, you know. You're gonna break my heart. Um, well, yeah, you know, like, subscribe. The same ish as usual. Whatever. Peace.